Hi, my name is Derek Coates. I'm the Disability Compliance Officer here at UC Berkeley. I'm creating this video so that you can understand the difficulties that I'm encountering going from A to B in the city regarding the audible pedestrian signals. I'm at the intersection of Fulton, Oxford, and Bancroft Way, and the APS system here is problematic because you can't hear it because of the traffic noise. So what I'd like to do is show you what this looks like. As I approach this intersection of Fulton, Bancroft, and Oxford, I'm going to be heading east, going on Bancroft Way towards the intersection. And if you come with me, you'll see what I mean. And what I want you to listen for is the sound so that lets you know, and I know, that there's an APS system here and you're at the corner. There. See, I'm in the street. Why? Because I can't hear the APS system. Do you hear it? I can't hear it right now. However, the APS system is over here to the right. I think. Let's see. Here. You have to be right next to it to hear this thing. So I press it. Wait to cross. It tells me wait to cross. So then I wait to see. Now the thing is, do you hear a sound on the other side? I have no idea what angle to take in order to get to the other side safely. All I hear is that. So I'll cross. There's no sound over here. So how do I know when I leave from there where my target departure arrival area is supposed to be? This is the intersection of Channing Way and Indoor Fan. I'm pressing the button while this traffic is heading uh, south so that it, to let the APS system know that I want to walk to the east. But guess what? Do you hear anything? The APS system doesn't work on this corner, so I don't know whether the cars are stopped or not. This is Shattuck and Center Street. This intersection is the way that it should be done. Although it would be nice if they were just a little bit louder, um, you can still sort of hear them above the, the noise that happens at this intersection. <laughs> 